All right, hello everybody and welcome. My name is John and today I want to show you the method that I've been using to get a 100% success rate with the cuttings I've been taking this year. Now this method is just a better version of some things I tried before, so shout out to Amy at Get Busy Gardening who actually had a blog post about this, which has been incredibly helpful and I'm very grateful that I found that information. So these are the things that I'm doing. I have these LED lights right here, just regular shop lights. I have a clear plastic bin with a clear lid. I have a sterile growing medium, so I'm using perlite at the moment, but pumice is good, turface is good, LECA would work, anything that is inorganic and is not going to mold. Then I'm also growing the plants in jars so that they, the moisture content stays up and I don't need to add any water whatsoever. So I tried other versions of this in the past, like this, I had random pieces of Tupperware I was putting over my pots and sometimes plastic bags, clear bags. And that works okay, but it's pretty challenging. Um, you can't fit a lot of plants and you can only fit very specific sized plants and shapes. And plus then checking the soil and things was pretty challenging sometimes if you're messing with the foliage that's touching the bag or whatever. So this method has just been so easy. I literally just set the plants in there and walk away and a month later I've got tons of roots and that's all it took. So I'm going to give you a closer look so you can see exactly what's going on. Alright, so here are three Ficus triangularis variegata cuttings. Hopefully you can see all those nice roots in there. This did grow pink colored roots for some reason. I think it might be the color temperature of these lights um, reflecting off the white perlite, but that's just a guess. Anyways, so what I'm doing is I'm putting the cuttings into the perlite. I'm filling up just a tiny layer of water at the bottom. And then over about 12 or 24 hours or so, all that water will get soaked up into the perlite itself. And from then on, I'll go back and I'll add just a teeny tiny layer of water and I'll just leave it. So I'm leaving the lid on this bin. I'm not airing it out every day. I'm not even airing it out every week. I'm just leaving it there. The moisture content is high enough. I never have to add any more water to the jar until there's actual roots growing that are really drinking that water up. So literally, add water once, it gets soaked up, add a tiny, tiny bit again, just so I see that it's actually accumulated on the bottom, and that's it. I don't have to worry about mold or anything growing on the perlite or the pumice or whatever you're using. If you were using soil in a bin like this, you would need to take the lid off every day and air it out, get some of that humidity cleared out, make sure, you'd have to do a lot more monitoring of your plants and the soil surface just to make sure everything is going well. With this method, I even have the lights on a timer plugged into the outlet. I literally just put them in here I add water twice and are good to go. So I've done this with 12 cuttings so far this year and I've had 12 successes and 12 out of 12 is 100%. So this is a really awesome method. I love it. It's basically hands-free after that initial setup which is extremely easy. Now two notes of caution for you. Any kind of uh, any kind of growing medium you're using should have the dust filtered out. You want chunks only so that there's lots of moisture but still lots of air pockets in there. That's just the best environment for roots. So you would want to either purchase some coarse grade pumice or perlite or whatever um, or buy some screens to sift it yourself. The other thing is that the grow lights or just regular LEDs are actually really crucial because they don't emit a lot of heat. If I were to do the same exact thing, but I stuck this in the window, these plants would cook and they would probably all die, um, especially because now it's summer. Maybe in the winter that would work. I'm not sure. I would always use the grow lights personally, but heat would be a major concern if you were trying to do this with any kind of direct natural lighting. All right, so let's check these out. So I really hope you can see all the condensation in there. So. All of the perlite is moist and there's air pockets everywhere. So this is excellent. For some reason, syngoniums are really weird. This was the only leaf on this one leaf cutting, but it's decided to grow two new leaves instead of opening this one. I don't know what kind of strategy that is, but um, that's what's happening. 
Anyways, so super, super easy method. I would be tempted to call this foolproof. It fool, foolproof, foolproof. It has never failed me yet, and so I know it's going to work for you with a very high rate of success. Um, so I hope you're motivated to try this. I'd love to hear about your success stories, or if you have any challenges or questions, please just reach out to me in the comments section. And I thank you so much for watching. I wish you best of luck with all of your cuttings and propagation projects. And I hope to see you in the next video. Cheers.